last time on Island ADV. It's our last day in Quebec, the last day on the Trans-Quebec Trail. Oh my God, the fishing is so incredible there. What a beautiful morning. That water is like glass. You can see the trees on the other side. It's just a mirror image of them. I had a great sleep. Um, sleep review. I would say it's probably like 10 out of 37 um, rotisserie chickens. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but it was good. I, I only woke up a few times and I slept through pretty much the entire night. And there was a period of time where it was like probably midnight. And the next time I woke up, it was like 4 a.m. So that's really good. <laughs> So I think our, uh, our sleep goal is really close to being accomplished. We have one more night camped. Today marks our last day on the Trans-Quebec Trail. Our last time that we'll be riding on it will be from here at Etang à la Truite to Amqui. And that'll be basically a wrap. After that, the rest of the two days of this trip, including today, is pretty much concerned with just getting us back home to Prince Edward Island. Last day's run is going to be about seven hours. Today's run is probably going to be around, you know, it's not too long actually. It's probably like five. And that's uh, with us adding this last stage of our take on the Trans-Quebec Trail. I just want to say overall, like, my impression of that trail is just amazing. You know, just just great. I'll talk about it more. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the lake a little bit more here in this, this coffee. All right, all set. Bikes are looking as good as they can be. All set? All set. So folks, the plan for today is pretty straightforward. Get to Amqui, get to Campbellton, have a, try to get a nice lunch into us, and then get into uh, Carlton Mountain Provincial Park and our campground at Armstrong Campground within that park. And this is the last little section, again, we've driven this pretty much, I think this is the third time we've been on it now, but uh, just enjoying the last little bit of mountain views probably that we're gonna have and then after that it'll be back on the 132 to get us onto some blacktop through the rest of Quebec and then after we get out of Quebec it's a little bit of more blacktop but as I'm like kind of coasted my way through here just meandering at a nice little pace for the morning I'm thinking a little bit about you know the mission on this trip and, you know what constitutes mission accomplished on this? And I think for this trip, since it's the biggest trip, and since we've been tested so much, I think the sheer completion of the trip alone, you know, warrants a mission accomplished, you know, the mission objective complete. Because when you think about it, you think about Marguerite on the Island of Demons, on Harrington Island, as we talked about a little bit earlier here, I'm sure, in some kind of voiceover that I've done. <laughs> but you, you think about that story and the fact that you know she was marooned on that island and then outlasted everyone in some 16th century perverted survivor series you know only to return back to France to become some kind of you know semi-celebrity but for me I think about the perseverance aspect of it and that's something we saw last time too and it's something that i think has been overall characteristic of french canada and 
the Acadian groups and the Quebecois, you know? Their perseverance to not only maintain their culture, but their language. Like here, when you think about it, right? Like I start speaking, I ask someone if they speak English, they're not gonna really go for it. But if I attempt to speak French, you know, they'll let me know. Like, thanks for trying. Thanks for trying to preserve our, our culture a little bit in your own little way. And I think that's what this is. We tried to preserve our adventure this time. We persevered through all the little things that tested us. The rain, the drops, the swamping of the bikes, the kit, the days in the wild camps that didn't pan out but turned into something great because we pushed, we persevered. And I think that's what this is all about. And I think that's the reaffirmation that I was looking for on this trip. That if sometimes you look at the bike in the garage and it sits there and you think, well, maybe I won't ride today. But if you persevere and ride anyway, you know what, you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff. And I think we saw some pretty cool stuff. Anyway, that's pretty damn heavy stuff <laughs> for a morning. <laughs> Getting all into it again. Ah, oh, well, I like to think like this. I think like putting this, the, these trips into perspective, but, you know, giving it a little bit more substance to just get on the bikes and ride. You know, I think that makes the trip a little bit more special, a little bit more memorable. It allows it to last, allows it to last in the brain space a little bit more. Wash out a little bit heavier than yesterday. There we go. But yeah, anyway. We're gonna keep pushing on this trail. We'll let the batteries run out and bring you along for as much of it as possible just to you know, soak up that Trans-Quebec Trail goodness. And I'll pick you up when things get a little bit interesting or when we move into camp. So over the course of our little journey this last week, really, at this point we're almost a week on the road, um, we've taken in a lot of really beautiful asphalt blacktop runs. And we've seen everything from things that make us from in Cape Breton to things that have the coast on our right and cliffs on our left. And it seems like the Gaspé Z is just as good on the blacktop as it is on the dirt, I would say, because there's just so many beautiful scenes. I mean, this road we're on right now is taking us towards Campbellton. This is Route 132 heading east. And you have just the beautiful river scene down there. And we're just kind of trapped between these two mountain ranges in between. It's just gorgeous. So if you're watching this and you're not of the dual sport persuasion, the ADV bike persuasion, or if, you know, being on dirt roads for an entire week is not your thing, <laughs> you know, don't worry, there's tons of stuff to see on the blacktop. Oh, look at the train. That's a picture I've seen right there. that we bid farewell to Quebec and cross over into New Brunswick and that officially ends our journey through the Gaspé Peninsula in Quebec 
on the Trans-Quebec Trail. And man, what a journey it was. But it feels great to be back a little bit closer to home and kind of at home a little bit in New Brunswick here now. But we still have lots of riding too. We still have a full day of riding. We have a whole night in camp left. So there's lots to do before we close out this series, before we close out this official journey. But the first thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to find a bite to eat. Because we're hungry. And the butts are starting to go numb. <laughs> So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a bite to eat and then we're gonna head to Kedgewick in St. Quentin where we'll pick up supplies and then move into camp. 